Hi, it's me again with Krill Draw Tips and Tricks. I was just playing around with a five-sided star and kind of came up with this pattern that's really easy and really kind of fun. I'm going to change my nudge factor like to 10 inches. I am going to draw a six-sided star. See, it's got set on six sides. And then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I've made plenty of videos on why I do that because now my... Five-sided star is in the center of the page. Let me uh, turn on my indexing lines. Corel thinks the center is right there where the center is really where the indexing lines are. We don't really need the indexing lines for this one. I am, And this is where your artistic ability could show, show up. I'm going to go from that node to that node with my uh, three-point line, curve line. Then I'm going to go about right here. I'm going to go up to that same intersection, and I'm going to, I'm not, this is just a very simple one. So now what we need to do is take the Smart Fill tool, pretty much set on any color. I really like this burnt orange. And I'm going to fill that in and move it over and fill that in move it over. Well, see what happened right there? I've only got a tip because I moved the other one over, but it wasn't out of the picture yet. So now I can fill that in and it'll be perfect. Now, that's not the finished product. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to grab these two and move them back. I am going to left click, right click. I am going to go ahead and group them for just a second so they'll rotate evenly. I'm going to control D to make a duplicate and alternate C to turn it to the center of the page. And I'm going to rotate it 72 degrees. This is where they intersect. I don't, I don't want them overlapping. So I'm going to use the smart fill tool just on these two sections. Now I'm going to just basically move that out of the way. I'm going to put this back by putting it back. It puts it back in the center of the page. I'm going to grab the first one. And I'm going to go to the interactive fill tool and I'm going to add black. I like that. Maybe not so much black. Maybe a little bit more. Then I'm going to grab the other one and do the same thing, except for I'm going to add black. I didn't go way far enough. So I'm going to further it out. And really what I, my way of thinking on this is I'm, I'm kind of, uh, making a an edge right there. Let me add a little bit more orange right, right. Well, I got somehow I got purple. Well, I know how I got it because I touched it. Um, that's probably pretty good. Now what I need to do is group these together. Control G, Control D to duplicate an alternate C, which is my hotkey, but a lot of people have never asked how I did it. Maybe they watched the video where I made it. I'm going to rotate it 72 degrees. And it's for some reason, if you ever hesitate, Corel will hesitate and lose your calculation. Now, that's just one thing you could do. I like my first one best. But let's, let's do it again. Well, let's change it up a little bit this time. Let's put my old one back in there. You know what? I'll... I don't, I don't remember if I moved that or nudged that. So go back to six-sided polygon. Hit P, put it in the center page, mark that. I'm going to try to do a completely different one this time. Um, sometimes you kind of forget what you're doing. And, and uh, I'm going to go from here to here this time. What I'm trying to do is stay out of the middle. You know what? I'm going to try like right right there and see what happens. Now we're going to have a really large spot that's going to disappear when we rotate it anyway. Well, let's try that and go up. I hit page up. You know, this probably isn't going to work, but we're going to give it a shot and see what it looks like. Now let's move them both back. Let's left click, right click, go ahead and group them for a second. Control G, Control D, alternate C. 72 degrees. 
And it's going to be basically the same thing, but not going to have as many curves. What I was trying to get at was having a, well, you know what? I can, maybe let's try that. Maybe let's just, let's just fill in one section and see what happens. You know, don't do both sections. I'm going to go ahead and erase this because I don't think it's going to make. So on this, we're only going to have one color. So I'm going to try the Smart Fill tool. I normally don't ever do this till I move it back into place, but I'm going to do it because I can nudge it right back. That's too much. That's too much black. So let's call that good. And now we'll nudge it back down. And I'm hopefully this will give me the result. Control D to duplicate, alternate C to rotate it. 72 degrees because there's five point. Yes, this is kind of what I wanted. Total different look. I am going to go ahead and group these together. I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill that in with that orange. Now that's not that big a deal. It, it gives it a totally different look, but while that's selected, get the interactive fill tool and just swipe across a little bit and go right up here to elliptical and then put it in the center. And then, you know, you can make your elliptical as big as you want. This is really the part that makes it an oval versus a circle. We're going to put a little bit of black in the middle. I don't think I'm actually kind of in the middle. But now let's bring our orange back. I mean, look at that. The contrast. I'm not, I'm not happy with it yet. Um, let's bring that out. Let's put a little orange closer. Maybe not that much. This might be a good one to use like a, a rectangular fill. Wow. See, it would be a good one. Kind of give it some depth. But not really if it was a rectangular product. Maybe so. But you can see you get a total different look. And if you don't like that, you could do whatever you wanted to with it. Just have it like that. Anyway, just playing around. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.